since many songs are based around the melody and the chord structure and also the arrangement of the song. So intro, verse, chorus, bridge, outro, etc. We're going to start with easy keys because that's the best way to jump into the creation process. They have some great tools within easy keys. We can get some chord structures, some different melodies going on, and also get an arrangement of a song very quickly. So I'm using Studio One and I'm just going to go down to easy keys. I'll create a track. I'm just going to drag it over. Now I have several libraries loaded. So just like Easy Drummer 2 or Spirit Drummer 2, we have different Easy Keys libraries that you can purchase. Now we're going to keep this fairly simple. I'm only going to use a couple of them here. And we're going to start with this Electric MK1. I really like this library. And this is emulating a Rhodes type of keyboard. Now the first thing I'm actually going to do is go into the browser and we need to find a genre from the existing MIDI packs. I've also purchased a few MIDI packs here and we are actually going to jump into this Neo Soul MIDI pack. And we can go in and audition some different song parts, find a song structure or some chord progressions that we like and then go from there. Now I'll just go into let's say the intro here of this first example and if I click play it will play this chord progression within the Easy Keys Neo Soul MIDI pack. Now notice it's playing in 4-4 and we're in a straight 4-4 style. And we're at 120 beats per minute here. We're gonna change that in a moment. But right now, let's just audition some sounds. I'll play this again, and we'll go through some of the presets for this Electric MK1 Easy Keys library. Now we won't go through all of the presets, there's quite a few. I'm actually going to go back to this chorus preset. I really like the sound of that preset. And if we go into the bottom left-hand corner of Easy Keys, we have some adjustments we can make and this will change based on the preset you have loaded. If I go to a different preset, those options will change. So depending on what you load, you can adjust some parameters within each preset. So let's take a listen to this chorus and I'll make some adjustments. You can hear what that does and then we'll see if we can get a sound that we like. So we have a little bit of distortion there. I'm gonna control or command click to go back to the default state. So once again, we can make adjustments within each Easy Keys preset. Now I'm actually going to go back to the default settings for this chorus preset because I really like how that sounds. Now I've already gone through and auditioned many of these chord progressions and songs within the Neo Soul pack. And if you're creating a song, I would encourage you to do the same thing. Find a song that you like, and if you stay within each song, you don't have to, but if you stay within each song, the chord progressions for the most part are going to 
fit very well. We're going to keep this as simple as possible. And I'm actually gonna go into the swing six eight section. And we really just have one song in this section. It's intended for 57 beats per minute. We're gonna go just a bit faster than that. I wanna go at about 65 beats per minute. So I'm actually going to adjust the time signature and tempo within my DAW. Again, this is Studio One. So I'll change this to 6.8 because the MIDI we are using is in 6.8. And I'm gonna adjust this to 65 beats per minute. So let's take a listen to a few of these song sections within the Swing 6.8 category of the Neil Soul MIDI pack. So even just clicking through a few of those sections and even in order, intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, you can already start hearing the structure of a song. 